Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, cats and dogs. Questionable Scorpion here, and today we got our um, World of Warships with the super carriers they just brought in. And we actually got Eagle right away, which is great. So, we're just going to talk about the Eagle, show you how, show you some fancy stuff. And yeah, we, uh, it's, it's going to be, it's interesting. So, first off, Eagle is based off the Audacious class carriers. Even the armor layout, as we can see, is pretty much the same between the two. Yeah, like, they're the exact same. Um, Vant, uh, Eagle has more health points just to show the super carrier status, which it's not much though. Audacious does have better torpedo protection though. It's the aircraft those where we want to where we want to see this. So you got your wyverns to on the audacious got wi the, your typical wyverns, the Westlands. Um, the Eagle, they uh you'll you'll notice something here. So the rocket planes are gone. Instead we get torpedo bombers. We got standard bombers, which these are these bombs do have a little bit more pen no, they're the same. They're the same part. But then we get jets, beautiful, amazing jets. So we get uh, two meteors, which are these little guys right here. We got two meteors, of course, right there. We got uh, English electric, two English electric Canberras. One is torpedo and one is carpet bomb. So carpet bombs have a bit more pen, high, high fire chance. They're more of like a midway style bomb, as far as I can tell. But it's it's actually it's beautiful, and in the torpedo bombers, they're not Hakuryu style damage, but they're up there, and as we'll see when we get in there, the spread is pretty much like that as well, where you just shotgun it. <clears throat> but yeah, that's yeah. So you're pretty much removing the rocket planes and you're throwing in a bunch of jets. Uh, artillery, still the 113 millimeter 45s. This one is the update prototype, so they should have a little bit more damage, as far as we can tell. Nope, oh, damage the same. Must be velocity then. It's reloading, that's all the same. No, alright, they're the same. Uh, AA guns. 46 by 1s. Oh, pardon. <laughs> 40 millimeter 6 by 1. You got your typical Mark Threes. Uh, Nair Sev, two by twos, uh, seven by sixes, and then your 113 mils, which are your flat grounds, of course. Which should be about the same. No. Yeah, Audacious, you're running nine by one, two by two, so you have a bit more secondaries on the Audacious. Oh, I guess this one's a bit better because you got the seven by six there compared to the. Nope, never mind. Audacious yeah, has very AA. <coughs> just their damage numbers. Maneuverability, like any typical uh, British aircraft carrier. Nice speed, turn radius, and that. It's actually pretty good. Um, and then concealment, like any British as well. It's actually com really good. Compared to the other super carrier, the United States, that one has like no concealment on it. It's more... I haven't seen too much of it yet. Once I uh, get the little, uh, that'll be a different thing, anyways. But, so, tip, got the, uh, commander from the Dacius in here, so it's using your typical survivability build, and, of course, engine boost, the torp bombers, and site stabilization, and all that. And, of course, you want fires. Because you're, you're using British, you want, you want to enhance, you want to abuse those fires. The equipment <coughs> is actually different. From the audacious so a lot of this stays the same except the um because the jets actually have a pretty good cycle time on them um we actually want to use flight control mod just so we can abuse it even more so right now like our rocket our meteors will spawn every 135 compared to default which is three minutes so as we get as you game, you guys all see, yeah, it's not instant either. There's some they did some bouncing, so you don't get the jets right away. And then, of course, the attack aircraft timer, which helps bomber HP, aircraft HP. 
I always go bomber HP because your torpedo bombers already have a heal in the first place. So it's just just help these guys out a bit. So then they both work good. And of course can aircraft HP. So nothing really different. Like the Audacious, yeah, I just like consume. My Audacious is consumable on the like sharing mods, so it's like eh. It's different there. But nope, we're talking with Eagle. So we're actually gonna get into a match here. And we are going to try try the sucker out and show it. Show us strengths and weaknesses. Hey, so we found our game. Uh, it's, it's actually a nice, nice, the, the, the nice mix of tiers. We even see the United States on the enemy side as well. Which we have already, you'll see survivability, stronger A, less concealment. But air crack is a jet, so it's going to be capped out. You don't know what the profit number is going to be. And yeah, we got some tier 9s as well to bully. So we'll set that backwards. And so yeah, the standard planes, they also get the. Uh, Engine boosts. The game's still loading its uh, system. So just like the Russians, you get that engine boost system on it. And as you can also see, your jets are on a cooldown. You don't get them right away. Because that would be a little dumb. You have the jet fires going there for the beginning. So I'm gonna dump a squad there. Come over here. over here um, the other thing they also did was your fighters are quick strike patrols instead so they don't just sit there the whole time farming spotting they only last like 20 seconds and they're quick strike because then the it's the counter out the jets that can try coming through okay, so let's go uh, torpedo this uncomparable So we're only going to get the one strike off, we're going to have to use our heal to get in. Yeah, there he is. Hey, bombers. There you go. Yep, just like the Russians. Got the jets. The corpse actually hit pretty good. Got a nice boost coming off them. Let's save a squad while we're at it. And, yep, the exact same audacious. Like, there's still the Westline Wyverns, they just have the uh, boosters on them. <coughs> Alright. So, we go to this incomparable. So, unfortunately, with this, as we'll get to the rocket planes, you'll see how the dispersion works on that. There's bit of a reason that uh, you still go after DDs, but you, you'll, you guys will see here when we get to the rockets, which are just loaded up. Let's see where this incomparable is going, because we want a free uh, bomb strike on them. Throw that on the rocket plane, see if they'll go after them right away. Eh, bad salvo, but Hey, now the jets get something different. <clears throat> the boost does not recharge. Yeah, there's the fires going off to them. And we do mock speed. And it's beautiful. Yeah, if I let go of the boost, boost gauge does not recharge. They're one time. It's a one time thing. Now, how about we go bomb their super, or rocket their super carrier? Yeah, because the speed, the rounds can't even get near it. Come here, United States. Britain says it's regards. As you'll see, the rocket dispersion. Yeah. It's all weird. But you get 40 rockets. <clears throat> And we chunk that to the United States, which is now going to get torped out of the Shima, so we're good. Now, this is the electric Canberra, which is your one of the torpedo bombers. The other one still takes a while to recharge. And let's throw the torps on the incomparable. We'll just 
launch ourselves all the way over here. Let me get comparable. We got Canberra for you. Like that drop is just, it's so tight. It's supposed to be two torps, but as you can see, they're like right together. Let's see if those hit actually. I'm curious. Nice. Okay. Let us get our boat over here, a bit safer. <clears throat> We're not doing consumable build, so. <clears throat> and 30 seconds for the bombers. Yeah, just like that, their United States is dead because he went too far out. And that, that is the issue with that thing, as you've seen, the concealment on it is horrendous. But, I, I can hear though that the uh, planes are actually pretty good as well. Okay, let's go for this Palmer. Heal up or rotate. And throw some more torps on this guy. Probably gonna try back up, so we'll uh, go behind him. Okay. Rockets again. Then we'll go to the bomber. I've always been a fan of the uh, meteors and the. Uh, and for the Germans, it's always in the 262s. Like, some of my favorite planes. But to actually be able to use them in here is awesome. Now let's see how much this will do to a Palmer while we're at it. Ah, way too high. Caught, snuck up on me. I just see the dispersion. That's like the FDRs. Oh, uh, well, one. There we go. And you could use it for DDs, because you don't really have a timer on it, but it's not really worth it for the amount of rockets that you're pulling out, and you just go for a bigger target, like what we did the United States, and we chunked it for about 20-something K. Like, there's, there's better options. Okay, let's get this lined up. Nice and tight, just like the uh, Zeppelin, and drop them. Not bad. Okay, uh, so my shot Palmer will use these ones since it's more consistent. I know, we're just bullying the Palmer now. <laughs> the Airflank's not doing too bad still, so let's just try to help our Yamato, really. Trash can on the Somers. Let's get these guys over here right away and we'll quickly uh, help them out. There. Hopefully, the trash can's okay. <laughs> I might launch a tarp salve in there to help them out, but I think they should have it honestly. Yeah, let's, uh, let's help them out a little bit. Drop those there. He's he's more of a bigger threat than the Palmer anyway, so. Okay. Now let's go our bombers. Oops. There we go. Keys don't want to work. Okay. Now we're going to use yeah, we'll use these guys to finish up the Palmer. And let's go back to some more jet usage. Oh, look at that, Palmer's dead. Nice. 
These guys are actually pretty good. Um, Shima's coming up on the Amato. That's another issue right there. Now these, these bombers, because the way they carpet strike is, you can still use them for DDs. So you, you just have to do it that way. And use the rockets more for cruisers, battleships, aircraft carriers. Not like the days just where you can use the rockets just to destroy everything. We'll just quickly set these here. I don't think they're going to... They might. They might find something. It's only like 20 seconds though, which isn't the greatest. No, I think we're good. Ah, there he is. Planes found something right before they timed out. Perfect. Come here, Shima. He knows he's in trouble now. Turn the wrong way. And it's been a while since I actually tried using carpet bombs on a DD. <laughs> this guy knows what he's doing. Try that. Straddle. shotgun them there. He's see if he drifts into one. Ah, right beside him. Alright. Well, I pushed him off the Yamato anyways. I'll give him some breathing room. Does your model finish some? No. Alright. Oh, we tried. Where? There's the Alaska. There's a good salvo right here. A couple of them went way high though. That was odd. It's like they just went way high to the right off the uh, actual tracker. here. Let's take out some of these guys since that Shima on our Yamato is kind of out of play anyways. Jet fighter. And there's a nice widespread. As we can see still does like Hikuryu. Nice. Okay. Now let's throw the carpet bombs on the Alaska. Which works out you probably only get three strikes with these, unfortunately, but they're good to have. Gives you something. Yeah, let's throw them on the Alaska. Just like the Zeppelin coming early, nice and low. And just drop them. Not bad. Okay, let us move up over here. Looks like our plane's a bit better, we'll use these guys. These deep, the uh, destroyers do need to die, so we're probably going to concentrate on those now. I don't think he went to the right there because that's too close to the uh, Zuma. He has to be over here. Oh. No, there we are. Ooh, excuse me. There's the trash can. Oh, uh, yeah, we got hit. At least one bomb hit's still good. Okay. 
Now let's throw these guys on the trash can. Or actually, Yamato's right there. Uh, those are some long range torps, and we're driving right into those. Let's turn hard right away. Okay. There's the Somers, we're going for Yamato. Yamato can play catch. Just like that. And that's a perma fire, so we're good there. <laughs> yeah, I'll get into that. Uh, I'll stay in this top ring right here for our guys. Yeah, we're spied. That stream is coming up on our left. The Yamato still burning. That's a weird one, but still hit. Can finish him. Yamato's dead. Just that Somers. Actually, now we're just DD hunting. So how about I? Let's go into the channel here. It'll be a bit safer. Yeah, let's pop these here. See what we can find. Oh, Somers, almost dead. I see one tour pit. That's all I need. I think I got. Nice. There we go. Yeah, that Shima's coming behind. Okay. Um, we have to do... Yeah, he's coming right behind. He's not too pleased, I don't think. Because everyone just found the Amato. Barely dodged Torp. Uh, let's see, Angle. There he is. Shall we kill the Shima before I die? It's close. Oh, he turned into it. Ah, uh, oh, we got one hit. Okay, maybe we'll get uh, Venge killed then. Oh, oh, oh. You should have it. Nice. Yeah, he turned right into those. I don't know what he was thinking. And by getting super ship, don't get anything really off of it, but eh, they're still fun to use. That, so that is Eagle for you. So we've seen all the jets go off. The rockets are beautiful. That's all I can tell you about those. The carpet bombs are always nice, just like the Audacious. Torpedo bombers, they, they're, they're good. Um, for the jet wise, yeah, it's the rockets are really good. Um, the torp bombers, aren't bad you do get a little bit more damage on them but i still think the standard ones are a bit better same as the carpet bombs so 
If they come up and you're cycling planes, then yeah, use these, of course. But your main three is you're going to be using the meteors and the two wyverns. Because they'll do a lot more. Like, yeah, and for the timer, for what you get with the timer on this thing, it's not worth it, really. Like, it's... Bomb damage is good, you get nine of them, that's fine, but... I mean, lower your pen a little bit, and you still do the same thing with this with a lot more. Because you got 18 instead of just nine. And you can chain it. But, yeah, that's the Eagle Frigus. Thank you all, and we'll come stop by next time.